you. Hey, kia ora. Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Pensacola in Florida. And today is Zephy's birthday. She turned one today. This is her, we haven't had a birthday cake yet. This is her birthday cookie. It's all pie-shaped treat for a darling girl. Wheat, corn, and soy free. Still trying to figure out how to get in here. <gasps> look at this. This is her birthday cookie. Doesn't that look good? And it comes with its own little plate. It's got its own little bowl. And Zephy's here already licking her chops. We're going to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zephy. Happy birthday to you. And many more. So we've had a fun day today. We had our usual snuggle up this morning. Okay. All right, looks like I've got to break this thing into... Here you go. What's this? So you can break it into wedges. Isn't that cool? Set your birthday cake. Here you go. So while she figures out how to eat her birthday cake, we can tell you what happened today. So we had our birthday snuggle this morning. And instead of snuggling up normally, she's on her back, legs all sprawled. Yeah, that's yours. You can, this is, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. There's ten pieces on this thing. No, you sit here and eat. You can sit at the table and eat. Come here. There it is. It's yours. You can eat it there. I'm not going to grab it you for eating at the table. Oh, we're going to disappear with it. She's got it in her mouth and is laying down on the floor and eating it. <laughs> at least she's eating it. <laughs> but, um, so we started our morning off with our morning snuggle and she lays on her back, legs all sprawled everywhere. At one point, at um, one point she was, um, for some reason she had her head, butt up on top of the body pillow and her head down, tucked under and twisted around. And I'm like, that cannot be cut. Zephy was very comfortable and stayed like that for ages. Then she just laid there with one paw up in the air. I think I posted a picture of it on Zephy's Great Adventures today. Um, after we got up and got showered and dressed and had breakfast. No, actually, no, we had breakfast when we got back. We, um, I got out one of, one of her gifts. I haven't got out all of her gifts yet. I don't want to overwhelm her. But we got out the Frisbee, and it's one of the, it's a Frisbee, but it's got a hole in the middle, so it makes it easier for her to pick up and stuff. And we went over the dog park. She played, she was happy. I tell you, I threw that thing, and I told her to bring it back, and she brought it back to me. And I was just like, this is awesome. And so we're throwing it back, so we're throwing it, and she'll go and get it and bring it back, and she was just bringing it back all the time. Um, sometimes, though, she wouldn't drop it. She would run past me and around me and expect me to chase her to get it, which I did. It's all part of the playtime. Um, and then there's times that she would, that I would throw it, and she'll go pick it up, and suddenly, oh, what's this over here? You know, shiny objects and drove. She took a liking to tree roots today. So there's a lot of, there's um, two big two big trees that overhang the dog park area. And um, there's a lot of the, those fine um, roots about this big or smaller. And she would go and she'd go to pick it up thinking it's a stick and it wouldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure why my AC is cooking and it should be cooking on, but you know, I would have to deal with the noise. Um, and uh, so then she would tug on these roots and then she and then she start digging to get to them and and um, the finer ones she was able to break off the thicker ones she wasn't. It was hilarious to watch her do this. And then she would suddenly run along, drop the frisbee, and just start digging. And I'm like, what the heck are you doing? And I go over there to see what she's digging, and something caught her eye, and she wanted to go dig it. So she did. She just dropped the frisbee and start digging. So we had um, probably paid for about 30, 40 minutes this morning. Came back here. Um, I got a little bit of work done. I um, writing up my notes from chapter one on the super attractor really really good book and going back through the notes some of them are like i don't even remember reading that but and highlighting it um so it's been a really good refresher for me and i don't even, you know i had finished chapter one on sunday because i have my accountability with my uh, i have an accountability partner for this book we're work, we're reading it together we read a chapter at a time and um so we had our first um our first accountability call on sunday and our next one is on Friday. So I have till Friday to read chapter two and I haven't started chapter two yet because I'm going back over chapter one. 
she ate that whole piece. I wonder if she'll jump up looking for more. Wait for her to jump up behind me and come around looking for more. We're having a big drink of water now. Um, so that was that was a that was a hit. So it's a special treat for dogs that I got at PetSmart. That's wheat free, soy free, and corn free, which is good because she doesn't need any grains. And um, she's under the table trying to figure out how to get up. And <laughs> um, so yeah, so I was going over the notes of that and um, coming up with some more thoughts about um, a big thing that's coming up that I can't talk about yet. Um, hello. You back for seconds. <laughs> well, you're not getting seconds. That's one piece. We'll see how your stomach goes with that one first, okay? Okay. Good girl. Was that yummy? It must have been you've come back for seconds. Yeah, that was yum yum. Okay, you can sit there. Um, so yeah, so we got um, so going back through the notes of Super Attractor, it's helping me see. Trying to work through some some decisions right now, but can't say more of what it is or how it's going to affect what I'm doing and everything else just yet because I don't even know. Um, so did that. Finished off a book series I was reading. Um, it's now looking for another book series to read. And these are the ones that I read at night. Yeah, you can look at the plate. Um, and the ones I read at night are just normally just real chick fiction. That's basically chick fiction, romance. It's the stuff I read at night to shut my brain down. It's how I shut my brain down at night. Um, I don't read them during the day, although I did finish this one because I was like right towards the end of the last book in the series. So I figured I'm just going to finish it off. Um, so now I've got to figure out what I'm going to read next. I always hate that. So what am I going to read next? Unless I have some inkling in my brain that this is what I'm going to work on next. Because sometimes um, I'll start, think things will just start coming into my head and I'm just like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do next. But um, yeah, so reading Super Attractor today, got a little bit of work done, did some journaling. Um, what else did we do today? Played some more. Did we play some more? She's got like a little mini frisbee squishy toy thing that's got all these teeth marks on. Hi. Look at this little. How close is it to me? That kind of acts like the frisbee inside. It's a chew toy. Ugh. This one here. You can see it's got all these little nubbly things on it. It's meant to be for cleaning her teeth and stuff. But um, today she was playing, we were playing with this today inside like it was her frisbee. So um, she really enjoys her frisbee. Now I just got to get it so we're in a park big enough where I can get it up into the air and stuff and try and teach her to jump up and catch it and all that sort of crazy stuff. Is this, is this one of your toys? Yeah? You want to put that there in your plate? <laughs> now it fits perfectly in her little pie dish. Um, so yeah, so we just had a nice, quiet, relaxing day, getting some stuff done and pottering around here. I made a really yummy fruit salad earlier. I um, get fresh fresh fruits and then I mix it up with, um, the only thing is that I have to, I'm annoyed at myself because I didn't check the labels. Um, when I make my, my fruit salads, I put the fresh berries, and, um, fresh berries in there, bananas in there. Um, then I like to put in a can of crushed pineapple in its own juice. And I misread the label and... It had, was, and when I was putting it in this morning, when I was already mixing it in, tipping it up, and I saw heavy syrup, and I was like, oh, crap. So um, my semi-fresh fruit salad has um, heavy syrup in it from the pineapple. Hang on. There you go. Go get it. You wouldn't believe she's been out there playing for over an hour with frisbees in total today. Um and so then I put some craisins in there and some coconut and mixed it all up and it's really good to have. I like it as a nice refreshing um, break in the middle of the day type of thing. It's nice and refreshing. And today's been, I would say hot and humid only because I've been coming from temperate, um, only because it was in the seventies today and it was humid. Um, we didn't actually have an afternoon shower like they usually get here in Florida, but we are under severe thunderstorm warnings for tomorrow with flash flood warnings. So that's going to be, um, Fun. 
And to all, oh, and to all my people in Nashville, my friends in Nashville, I've been hearing from you that everything's okay with you guys. Um, so I am thankful that um, my friends in Nashville are all safe. And thoughts and prayers are for those that um, have lost their homes and are injured, and for those that have lost loved ones too. Um, so. Um, so yes, I totally forgot to talk about that at the beginning. Um, but otherwise, it's been a nice relaxing day. Went out and did some more frisbee with her this, this evening, and she decided to dig up more tree roots. And um, at one point, she's like tugging back, and she's got this great big long one going, and it was about this thick. And she's pulling on this thing, and it's pulling up the dirt and everything. And well, it's actually like a sand-based thing. And <laughs> and um, she keeps pulling at it, and then she's decided that's not working enough. So she goes and she starts digging at one end of it. And I was like, really? And so then I managed to distract her with the frisbee, and then we're playing the frisbee again. And then all of a sudden, she just drops the frisbee, runs over to this completely barren part of the of the dog park, and just starts digging. I'm like, what? So crazy dog. But she had she's had fun today, and now she's had her first piece of her birthday cake, or her birthday cookie. Yeah, that was good. Is that good? You're gonna say thank you to everybody for your birthday wishes today. No? Can you give me your paw? Give me your paw. No? No, oh, we're just going to sit quietly today. <laughs> We've had a very quiet day today. So hopefully um, we can get out tomorrow and play some more frisbee and stuff before the rains come in and before the thunder and lightning happens. And uh, I was going to um, rent a car tomorrow and go and do some sightseeing and stuff, but I can't leave her um, in thunder and lightning because she hasn't done thunder and lightning before, so... That's going to, she hasn't done thunderstorms before, and they're calling for severe thunderstorms. So um, tomorrow's going to be interesting. I've got to go find her thunder coat, which I believe is in your container and one of the lockers underneath. So I have to bring, drag that out tomorrow and put that on her. And hopefully that'll help keep her calm tomorrow as well. And I've got some supplements that help keep her calm too. So we'll drag her up with, with natural supplements and the thunder coat and hopefully keep her. You're very quiet tonight. You okay? Is it the thought that you've turned a year old? <gasps> Is that old for dog years? That's only a teenager. <laughs> um, but anyway, so thank you everybody for her, for her birthday wishes. Um, we've, had a, we've had a very good relaxing day today. So tomorrow I'm um, going to have to figure out something else to do since I can't rent a car and go ticky touring around with flash flood warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings. Because that would not be good to be driving out. I had to. I had to do that one night. There was one night um, just after Brad, um, Brad's first surgery back in two thousand and eight, and we had, we had come home with the ileostomy, which ended up being the ileostomy from hell. And um, for some reason, his his bags and everything just kept leaking. It kept leaking, and um, so I had to. Um, I found a, a pharmacy about thirty minutes from home that had supplies. It was eight fifteen. They closed at nine o'clock. There was a huge, huge thunderstorm going on outside, and I get an animal, and I am racing off to this thing. There is rain pouring around me, and all around me, but never over me, was all the thunderstorm clouds. And you could see the lightning going off in, in front of me, behind me, to the sides of me. You could hear the clapping going over here, and the rain was, you could see it pouring down everywhere else, but over me it was a lot lighter. Um, and I just know that there was a lot of divine intervention that night to get me to the to the pharmacy to pick up some more supplies and get me back home again safely um and that's yeah that was a really bad thunderstorm to be driving in but um because of divine intervention i was safe that night so i was very thankful for that um but anyway that's it from us for today it's been a very well, just a just a year day maybe tomorrow i'll go do laundry oh no that means walking in the rain huh maybe we'll watch some movies tomorrow i haven't done that for a while you want to watch some movies tomorrow? We can watch some James Bond movies. You like James Bond. She actually sits there and watches James Bond with me. So that was kind of cool. But anyway, that's it from me for today. Um, I am out of here. Um, just a, a very nice day celebrating Zephy's birthday today. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Heck on it. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Heck on it. Uh.